Williams has made a lot of NBA play. All right, pause the video. Hey, hey, pause. Thank you, bud. All right. All right, it's your boy Shrod, you know what I'm saying? I'm back with another video. Man, look. Hold up, bro. I'm tripping. Let me cut the lights on. Oh, my Lord, see, I'm not even ready. Cut the lights on real quick. All right, I'm saying, try back another video. I feel rusty as hell right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like starting this back up right now, I feel I don't know weird. And the reason why I feel the reason why I feel weird is because I got a little the first vaccine shot. Yeah, it's a thing though. You know what I'm saying? Before I get into the video. With the, um, you know what with the, um, with the shot, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't feel, I don't know. Obviously, I feel a little bit, like, not, it ain't, the soreness is not crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, a little bit. But it ain't, it ain't nothing that, I can't, I can move my arm pretty easily, you know what I'm saying? But I can just feel that they shot some right here. If that makes sense. But yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm not promoting to get the vaccine. I don't care if you get it or not. I mean, shit, do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? I just want to show you that I got it. I feel normal, so I mean, hey. LeBron but, James has made a lot yes, of. Be quiet for one second. Hey, my bad. Hey, before. Hey, I know, I know, I know. Be quiet. I know. I ain't start the video yet. My bad. But look, I'm gonna need you to like the video and subscribe before we even get into this. That's the first thing you should do. You know what I'm saying? But before we get into the video, we got NBA players confessing LeBron is a god. Hey, I want to see this. NBA players fear him throughout his career. Ooh, they fear and some him. NBA players' careers were ruined by him. Ruined? But this Ooh. is what made LeBron James one of the greatest to ever do it. Welcome to Sports Only. Today, we compiled a bunch of insane stories from NBA players and legends basically confessing that LeBron James is a god. But before we get into the video, okay. make sure you click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. Now, let's get straight into the video. Scottie Pippen will always be remembered as one of the best players to have played the game. Together with Michael Jordan, they established a dynasty with the Chicago Bulls. And while he will always pick his former teammate over LeBron in the GOAT debate, which is understandable, Pippen has not shied away from admitting how good LeBron really is. In an appearance on ESPN's The Jump, Pippen admitted that while he won't call LeBron the best ever, statistically, he is definitely one of the greatest players ever. I won't say he's the best. But statistically, um, he's, yeah. he's, he is. he's one of the, the greatest. Yeah. In yet another interview on ESPN's first take, Pippen was asked how close he thought LeBron was to catching Michael Jordan. And in an objective take from Pippen, he admitted that LeBron was right up there with MJ. He also cited LeBron's statistics of his assists and rebounds as proof to support the reason he had to be considered in the conversation with Michael Jordan. He did, however, say that LeBron couldn't catch Jordan in the MVP race. And with LeBron only winning one regular season MVP so far, compared to Jordan's five, you might have to agree with Pippen on that one, as LeBron is quickly running out of time to catch Jordan there. Uh, he probably would never catch him in terms of MVP. Okay. But in terms of statistics, LeBron is right there. And when you look across the board, not just scoring, mm -hmm. check his assists, Check his rebounds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's probably ahead of Jordan. Say what you will about Isaiah Thomas. The man is a Hall of... Oh, yeah. By the way, I ain't going to cap. I think LeBron... Mm. Don't get on my dick by saying this. I, I like LeBron more than Jordan. I'm just keep it at that. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. It ain't... I'm not going to see and be like Jordan overrated. Jordan I ain't going to... I ain't going to be that guy. You know what I'm saying? I just like LeBron more than Jordan. That's all. So, say that how you want to take it. But. Famer, a two-time NBA champion, and arguably one of the greatest point guards to have ever played the game. He was that good. But yeah, 
His long-standing beef with Michael Jordan might color his opinion on who he thinks is the better of the two players, but it is his opinion regardless. And here is what he said about LeBron James when he was asked about him. So I've got my essay written, and I've been working on it for about a week. So now I'm going to show you how I use Grammarly to edit. Okay, so here's my essay, and I'm going to click through Grammarly suggestions. When you talk about just a basketball player, a complete basketball player, LeBron James is a much better basketball player than Michael Jordan. When you talk about just a basketball player, a complete basketball player, LeBron James is a much better basketball player than Michael Jordan. Okay, there might be some underlying beef in that statement, but we get it. He chooses LeBron over MJ. We know that the GOAT debate is hotly contested, but saying LeBron is a much better player than Michael Jordan, eh, that's a bit of a stretch. If that were the case, there would be no GOAT debates. Moving on, a lot has been said about LeBron's basketball IQ, and even some who are on the side of Michael Jordan in the GOAT debate have even given LeBron the W when it comes to playing intelligence. Turns out to James with a new shot clock. Oh, great no look to Zizic who puts it home. I gotta watch that again, bro. Hold on, hold on. That, that's playing just intelligence. Nasty. Out I don't care game. what you say. That's, that's just nasty, bro. Ends with a new shot clock. Oh, great no luck to Zizic who puts it home. Okay, How about that? Everybody, even myself included, thought that ball was going to Kyle Corver right there for an easy three. Look left. Pass, right? oh, this nigga's a nasty, bro. Hey, he's, out, he's at the park right now. He's out there playing around, DB. <laughs> the thing about LeBron is that for a guy that big and that strong, he is one of the most impressive, if not the most impressive playmaking abilities we have ever seen in the game. Other guys with LeBron's strength will choose to just dominate at the basket and not bother to create chances for their teammates. But LeBron can do both. And not only that, nasty, he can win to do either of them. My the man is just a genius at reading the game and making the right play. It's no surprise. I'll say this though, in the, in the past, uh, I ain't gonna say all the time he did this, but uh, sometimes he did this. Sometimes he's a little bit more passive and aggressive. Now he like, obviously now he's not to balance the shit out so he can, he know when exactly to do both now, but at one point in time, you know what I'm saying? He, Sometimes, like some games, he'll be more passive and aggressive. But, I mean, for him, I mean, you got to, like, for him, he got to, like, go through that. You know what I'm saying? For him to master it, he, he got to fail at doing what he's doing to master it. You know what I'm saying? Because over, over a number of years... When the times that he like, you know what I'm saying, failed and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like all he did was just learn from it. And then the more he learned from it, the more he perfected his craft. You know what I'm saying? So he know when to pass, he know when to look for his teammate, know when to shoot threes. Sometimes he shoot too many threes. Sometimes, but they be open. So I mean he got he gotta take it. But sometimes, but he know when to drive, you know what I'm saying? Now he just all around amazing. I ain't gonna say now he been amazing at doing it. It just you know how some people pick and choose mistakes that LeBron makes, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Surprised that he is well ahead of Jordan when it comes to all-time assists. Hand of LeBron who picked up the loose ball behind the ball. Oh, Just like they drew it up. Man, he looking look like me out there. You got butter to jelly. You looking like me. eyes in the back of your head. Or oh, a great memory to make a pass like that. LeBron James to wait for the lay-in. No one captures how mentally immersed LeBron James can be in a game as well as DeMar DeRozan did in this interview. While discussing how difficult it was to face LeBron James in the playoffs during his time with the Toronto Raptors, DeRozan said that people simply do not realize how difficult it is to go up against LeBron and beat him in a seven game playoff series. DeRozan, now you'll take that. You'll take that. You want to stay as tight as you can without giving up the drive and getting Speaking about the Eastern Conference Finals in 2016, when the Raptors came up against LeBron's Cavaliers and won games three and four of the series, DeRozan recollected an incident that happened during the playoff series. In game five of the series, one of DeRozan's teammates forgot one of the plays that were called. And guess what LeBron did? 
he, he looked he over told, at the. He told I know the story. He told the t- he told the Toronto Raptors teammate, the player that should they that they should be running. He told this nigga where he should be at on his own play. So basically, this nigga Brian be studying the whole NBA team's playbooks, especially in the playoffs. Especially then they, he kind of know what they finna run and how they gonna run it. Plus, he also knows like the player spots on the floor, like where do they shoot good at. So occasionally you may see LeBron leave a person open, and he he doing it for a reason. You know what I'm it might look like he's just being lazy. It might look it might look like he don't care, but the thing is he knows exactly what your weaknesses in your game. So he knows is exactly what your field goal percentages on each you know, spot on the court. Basically, he studied he studied all that shit, literally. Player and explain to him the exact so, play that his team had. I be tuning to LeBron. I know a little bit about LeBron. Some folks don't know shit about LeBron. They just they say he the goat, and they be right. They don't know him. You know what I'm saying? Like I know him. This could this could be this could be my my second. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say that. That's kind of disrespectful to say that. I ain't gonna say that. That was kind of disrespectful. He could be my uncle. Put it like that. He would be one of my uncles. I ain't gonna say he's the second father. No. He could be one, he could be my uncle though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, LeBron. Just called. Now that's just crazy. But it only goes to show how incredibly intelligent LeBron James is on the court. That means Biombo's guarding Shumpert, James guarding Biombo at this end. DeRozan blocked by James. And when our teammates. Just imagine how many times you heard a nigga say blocked by James. That, man, I heard blocked by James. Blocked by James is amazing to me. I love when they say that, man. I just love it. Forgot the play, and Bron told him the play. <laughs> Like it was some crazy shit. It was some like, it was some crazy stuff. We called it a play. He was like, "What?" And Brian told him what our play was. Kyle yeah. Lowry is another Raptor that knows firsthand how it feels to be decimated by the brilliance of LeBron James. In an interview with the Raptors legend, Lowry had this to say about LeBron: "He's a guy who will be a Hall of Famer and a top three player of all time." It makes you want to figure out how to beat him because you want to say I knocked him off his throne. He's a guy who will be a Hall of Famer, top three NBA of all time players. Um, it makes you want to figure out how to beat him because you want to be able to say, look, I knocked him off his throne. I want to thank Snap Sports. Without this, it wouldn't be possible. Bro, why does Shaq advertise every goddamn thing, bro? What happened? What is this now? Let me see what, what this is. Shaq advertises everything in the book. What is this? Courts? Courts Dream? Court Dreams? What is it called? www.snapsports.com slash some bullshit. Bro, Shaq monetized everything in a book. I see this nigga every day on something different. I don't. Appreciate it's you like he wake up much. to advertise some shit. Look, look, just look at this. Mute the music though. Just look, look at this, man. Shaq just. He, like, he ain't even here. The nigga just. Like this, bro, he be making up. I'm, I'm gonna be on some chat shit. Monetizing, monetizing everything. I'm gonna be it's monetizing no, Plan B. So you tell no me. secret that every team that aspires to win the NBA Finals always has it at the back of their minds that at some point they will have to deal with LeBron James. From 2011 to 2018, LeBron appeared in eight straight NBA Finals. And even though he lost five of those finals, it is still an incredible feat for anyone to achieve and it only reinforces the idea that in order to win the NBA Finals, you almost have to go through LeBron. Although the Golden State Warriors were a force to be reckoned with the likes of Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and Klay Thompson, the franchise still went out to sign Kevin Durant after they blew a 3-1 lead against LeBron James's Cleveland Cavaliers in 2016. Kevin Durant was signed to be the man who tipped the balance in the Warriors' favor whenever they came against LeBron. And they did come up against LeBron James in 2017 and 2018. Both times, Kevin Durant went home with the NBA Finals MVP award and the NBA title. That team was so OP, bro. <laughs> that team was so OP. Like, the team already tough as fuck without Durant, but he added Durant on top of that. Yeah, that team is basically unbeatable, bro. I'm sorry. That's, I don't know who would be in that team in seven games. I don't. If it be like in the field, you just had to win one game. You you can beat them in one. You can beat them one game. But you had to beat them four out of seven games. Ain't it ain't happening, bro.
at all. It ain't happening. But Durant was under no illusions on just how great LeBron was even during what turned out to be a 2018 final sweep against the Cavs. <sighs> at a press conference during the 2018 NBA Finals, Durant had this to say about LeBron. Same way I looked at Kobe and Tim Duncan and those guys who are at that elite level, who's experienced more, who you just want to try and learn and watch from afar. I think LeBron has been a good model when it comes to that. But just being able to play against somebody at the highest stage, at the highest level, just brings out the best in both of us. It just makes the games better. The same way I looked at Kobe and Tim Duncan and those guys just who at the elite level who've experienced more, you just try to learn from by just watching from afar. I think LeBron's been a good model when it comes to that. Um, but just being able to play against somebody at the highest stage, the highest level, just brings out the best in both of us. It just makes the games better. Paul Pierce is another player that knows all too well about- Bro, this nigga Paul Pierce is a hate. I swear he be hating. I don't know what. I don't know why he does this, but he just, I, I don't, recently, I don't, in like 2020, no, he was hating 2020. All right, 2022, I don't know if he's still hitting on LeBron or not, but recently, you know what I'm saying? The last time I seen him on YouTube, nigga just been hating. I don't, I don't know playing what Playing against been. LeBron James, especially he during probably, his time with the Boston on the Celtics. I mean, the nigga, the and when you have to face someone like LeBron constantly now. in the so, playoffs, I don't know. you can't help but admire his greatness. So when LeBron put the Toronto Raptors to the sword in a playoff series, Pierce could LeBron, not boy. hold back in his Welcome back. Swole. Look, look, bit swole, Nick. Pierce said, look, bit swole. Just LeBron's greatness can't be overshadowed. Right now, we should all really appreciate what he's doing and what he has done. You know, you can't put nothing past greatness. When greatness is in your way, it has a way of reaching another level. And even though I don't think LeBron has the help, he's good enough. When greatness is in your way, it, it has a way of, of reaching another level. And even though I don't think LeBron has the help, he's good enough. Kyrie and LeBron played together with the Cavs in 2016 when they pulled off an incredible upset to reverse a 3-1 to deficit at the NBA Finals against the Golden State Warriors and claimed a 4-3 to victory with Irving delivering the title-clinching shot. The two superstars may have parted ways in controversial circumstances, but still, there's no doubt Kyrie knows just exactly how much LeBron brings to any team he plays with. In an interview on a sports show, when asked if LeBron James should be awarded the MVP every year, Kyrie admitted that no one in the league puts in as much work for their team as LeBron does for his team. Kyrie also said that LeBron was truly a star in his own lane and could not be compared to anyone else in the league. We're talking strictly based off stats. Like, he checks every It's him mark, every like year, though, in that regard, right? Yeah. Does anyone do more for one team than LeBron does? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's tough. Yeah, it's tough. Brian, it's tough. I mean, but it's incredible. boring to give it to him every season. Like, he's that's incredible. Kind of, um, I, I would say that he's in his own, he's on his own lane, man. Love him or hate him, LeBron's greatness simply cannot be denied. It is a story that is still yet to be concluded. At to be honest, it can't be denied. You know what I'm saying? Niggas deny every day. You know what I'm saying? Niggas. Go on IG, go on Twitter. It's it's gonna be niggas who like nine years old, thirteen years old, talking about LeBron and stuff. All this. Not talking about MJ. Did like, how how, how y'all know about how you, how y'all think I know know more about MJ than me? Y'all niggas were born in what? Two thousand nine? Wait, what? Two thousand eight? When was y'all born? And y'all niggas, y'all the same niggas be like, oh, MJ to go. Y'all don't know nothing about MJ. Y'all y'all barely watch Kobe to my MJ. Like, bro, that's what these niggas be young as hell thinking they know about basketball. All they do is just, all, all they do is go on YouTube, look up Undisputed, and watch Skip Bayless talk about LeBron, how LeBron is nowhere near Michael Jordan. That's all they do. That's where they get their facts from. That's literally. But, I mean, hey. At 36, <sighs> the king is still ruling the NBA like his own court. For many years to come, there will be many more commentaries from Super. Oh yeah, by the way, just in case it's the first time watching me, but actually it's something y'all yeah, may have noticed, but I haven't spoken about it. All right, all right, Pete, this right. If you see me blink a lot, right, it's because I need glasses, and it's hard. My eyes like they start to hurt. You know what I'm saying? Not hurt. I want to explain it. Basically, I need glasses, right? I can see, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
stuff around me, you know what I'm saying? It's close, you, should, you feel me? But, like, like, I can't see far from far away, you know what I'm saying? I can't see very clear. It ain't really, it ain't as blurry. It's just not clear. So, I partially, I kind of need glasses. No lie. That's beside the point, though. All right, but look, that's the end of this video. Hopefully, I didn't make it too long. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I have a nice day. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Don't mind me. But, have a wonderful day. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be good. You feel me? Y'all be good. Y'all have a wonderful day. Y'all get up and do something with yourself. Is just don't waste no days, bro. Don't waste no days BSing around. Just get up and do what you want to do in your life. You know what I'm saying? Cause nobody gonna wait for you to do it. You just gotta get up and do it yourself. So yeah, that's all I gotta say, man. Y'all have a wonderful day, man.